Okay guys, I'm gonna welcome to my new episode. First I'm gonna say of Hardcore Iron Man episode nine of OS and RS Hardcore. Um OS being tall. Anyway, I'm starting to quest one piece in note. Let's go. Guess I'll help Sorry, you. Don't remember me praised. The abbess's office is just inside the wall. Go in through the gate and head north. Okay. So I appear to be investigating some kind of murder in this abbey. Interesting. Ooh, look at this chapel. Look at me! Look at me! Okay, that's good. Remember to look at me so you can keep in time. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't... Uh... Ladies, keep rehearsing while I talk to this pilgrim. Okay. Why are you rehearsing? It's a hymn to St. Elspeth. I wrote the music. But the words are tradition. Do you know the story of St. Elspeth and the Ripper? No, could you tell me? St. Elspeth was a holy warrior who lived during the God Wars. She sang and played the cithara, and her music was so holy that no demon could bear to hear it. Go on. The Ripper was an assassin demon. It would strike without warning and leave its victims horribly mutilated. Stab them through the heart with terrible claws. Tear off their faces. Zamorak sent the Ripper to attack a village where St. Elspeth was staying. It couldn't approach while she was singing, but it waited on the edge of the village. She sang for days, but eventually was too weak to go on. She went out of the village to face the demon alone. She thought it might just kill her and spare the villagers. Follow the sound of that scream! Uh oh. What just happened? No, 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 no. It's northeast of the chapel. You've got to protect us. The demon is back. Oh shoot. What's happening here? Oh, great Sarah Domin. Another person Sister back. Eleanor. I saw it, Abbas. It was the demon. It was the Ripper. Sister Cecilia, go back to the oratory. Get yourself cleaned up. Adventurer, there's no point in my trying to keep this from the sisters anymore. I'll let them know what's happening. Please, adventurer. Investigate Sister Eleanor's murder, then talk to me in my study. Okay. Finding more clues, finding more clues in the chapel of sisters. Sister Eleanor is dead. Eleanor is dead? Oh, Eleanor. She wasn't happy here, you know. She could have been so much more if she had the courage to leave. I met her when she came down to Alcarid to buy supplies. We started writing to one another, hiding letters with boxes of food. I came up to see her last night. There was a hole in the kitchen wall that she used to smuggle me in. That's how I learned that Anna had died. Eleanor told me. I wanted to publicly pay my respects, so I snuck back to Alcarid and came here with my band. Adventure. The evil blood would tree. So, I might have to like take a break to do that. I don't know. It depends how long if I can get there in time. If there's anything I can do to help bring this killer to justice, let me know. Okay. I'll let you know. Oh, she's outside dancing. Um. Abbas Bunny asked me to. Will you dance with me first? Um, alright, let's dance. What a hey. What a dance on this guy. <laughs> dance with me. Okay. Now I can go all back right. to where. Oh, I didn't mean to skip all that. Oh well. Sorry. Oh. Uh oh, what's happening now? Some gruesome. Something's about to happen. 
Yes. Holy. She's dead. <laughs> it pierced her heart. Oh. And there it is, 20 farming thanks to the evil tree. We do an evil tree and we've just leveled up our farming thanks to it. So where does that and what is 20 farming dip? 21 farming now, oh my god. Sweet corn, candering hop, taramin, valerian in demon high. Black wolf in demon high. And a woodcutting level up now. Geez, seven woodcutting. All from the evil, great evil tree event. Which is a very good event to do. I seen it come up while I was playing the game and I thought, let's go do it, because it's very good. Even though I was in the middle of a quest, you see all my quest stuff that I'm literally probably most of the way through. But it doesn't matter. I'm doing this. And some more wood cutting level ups from this event. Well that puts us at uh, well, level 10 is one of the requirements from my arms for the convention, one of the requirements to the a like jungle, log, canoe, sleeping elm tree, and back for satchel. That is pretty incredible though, level 12. And a fire making level, level 10 fire making, sleeping elm, branches and ding The levels are just piling in from this tree guy. Just so good. And there it is, 11 fire making. Why wooden pie ship, achy pie ship. Amazing. This tree is just given all everything and the evil tree is complete guys and we got all the way to 16 fire making now one of the requirements for the giant dwarf oil lamp oak logs and burn evil oak trees absolutely amazing let's open our sacks of rewards portable obelisks salamanders chin chompers and, and salvage salvage and ashes and dragon light rider gloves. Hmm. What? Look at that coins. Oh my gosh, guys, 257,000 coins. That is incredible. That is actually incredible. And those gloves, they, they're pretty cool. Well, they're level 60. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Well, let's go. So we're back on the quest and we're hiding in the road cabinet after setting up an ambush for the reaper. It's like a trap we've set up. I love the music in this quest, it's, been, it's just so good. It's a very atmospheric quest. It's like an escalating thing. I love escalating tension in a quest. didn't work. Any move and I'll kill her. No her, her Let it go. Let me walk out of the abbey to safety, and then I'll release her. Adventurer, don't! You won't kill her. I don't want to kill her, but you'll force me to if you come closer. Her death will be on your hands.
Thank Sarah Domen, it's over, adventurer. Sister Deborah told me what you did, but she didn't say who the killer was. She said you should be the one to tell us. Who was it? Who killed Anna and the others? Was what? Sister Hannah? No, it can't be. She made the applicant and dressed her body in a robe. But why? I think she was possessed by a demon. But my most trusted friend could do this. And I had no idea. Thank you for telling the truth, adventurer. But this will shake the faith of everyone in the Abbey. I can't remain as abbess, knowing that this evil could sprout in soil that I have tended. I'll look for a replacement, but I don't know how much longer the Order will survive. I cannot offer you much of a reward, adventurer, but please accept a set of the Order's robes. They are enchanted. Wearing them will allow you to meditate on music in order to grow closer to Saradomen. There we are. One piece in note complete. 250 prayers, Sifri Robe, Troubadour Dance, and Motability to make Illuminate God Notes for 60 prayer and crafting. Very nice. Let's get that prayer. And we've reached 13 prayer. Superhuman Strength Unlocked. Very nice. And we got the robes. Very, very good quest. Very, very love it. Guys. Uh, uh, I just hit free defense from hitting a rat. Very nice. And um, my combat leveled up. Wait, my strength as well went up to five. Five strength from free defense. Very nice, guys. I just meleeed a rat. That was it. <laughs> okay, but can't argue with this. Anticipation. I'm doing the mini quest called Witch's House. Um, I'm looking for work. And perhaps you could do something that would help us both. Would you like to become more proficient in the dark art? What do you mean improve my magic? Which side? Yes, improve your magic. Do you sense of drama? Mini quest. Witch's House. Potion. Which is potion, sorry. Spraining, I'm going to make a potion to help bring out your darker self. You need certain ingredients. What do I need? You need... I have new to rat's tail on onion. Oh, and a piece of burnt meat. Oh, and my hit points just leveled up to 13 from killing a rat for the potion. And that's everything for the potion, I believe. New onion, burnt meat, and rat's tail. I put it all in the potion, right? Um, okay, now drink from the potion, so I had to give it to her. And I get 325 magic XP. And thanks, a little bit of magic for that quest. Cute curse and tablet teleport. But 19 magic, very nice. It's going, it's making, it's going up with my combat. My magic is making my combat. <laughs> That's how it's working. Treacherous, but I've never seen a storm like this one. I'm venturing to Anachronia if you want to. The wondering. sea is primordial. It is ancient and vast, like a thing from another time. The sky is angry. I can feel it. If not for the Stormbreaker's powerful magical wards, we would be torn apart. From the deck, I hear the island calling to me. She has a nice Turn voice. back. Turn back. I do not want to be found. I should not be found. Turn back. This must truly be the very end of the world. Cut off from everything. The sort of place I've been seeking all my life. A place of solace. Mm. I think the storm is finally breaking. Venture into Anachronia for the first time. At last, we can catch a glimpse of this barren rock. Do, 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 do. I love that music. An Anachronia. We're arriving. I gotta start building my shelter, see?
very nice. Look at this place. It is looking good. It looks so good. Look at that dragon thing. Whee -hey. ha ha ha. And that bone thing. Whee -hey. oh, mo -mo -ho 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 -ho. <laughs> The dinosaurs. Whoa. -ho 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 -ho. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I've lost the plot, guys. Look at this. This looks and smells fresh, but the flesh has been strapped up. We're gonna have to squeeze past it. So be careful not to slip. We're we're put, we're like on our way to Anacronia and my group along the edge of the island, our expedition group. Hopefully we'll get this soon. Oh crap, it's a giant, humongous dino. Run for your life. Okay, so I've established my base camp so I can start building my Anacronia island now that I've arrived here. And I've built my, this is the base camp. Hey, back on the west now guys, and Making those fledgling level 10, you can now make longbows, that is incredible. Been swapping worlds, trying to make the most of my new tiles here. I mean, if I'm going to unlock these tiles, I'm, that, I'm going to make the best use of them that I can to craft some fletching stuff. So, yeah. And we're still doing fletching level 11. You can now make opal tip bronze bolts. There we go, guys. Wait, I'm even finished. Fletching means what am I doing? Oh well. Let's keep going. So here we go. Level 12 Fletching. Fantastic. We're just on a Fletching adventure by here right now. And here we go again. Really Fletching. Very, very nice, guys. is 14 flexion. Still going strong guys. Absolutely going strong on this flexion adventure. Look at all those. We got quite a nice collection of again. Arrow shafts going now. And we're still at it guys. We're still going. 15 flexion. You can now make iron arrows. Nice. Nice. That is my reward for 15. Guys, I'm, I just realized now that I 15 fletching, uh, these are obsolete. I can make arrow shafts and things from oak logs, which are much more fun and much less. I don't have to swap worlds and whatever. So yeah, I'm moving on. And then it is 38 wood cutting guys from chopping this wood oak. Fantastic, 38 wood cutting. So this is great guys, I'm making like 30, I've been making 30 arrows per log now. This is a real upgrade. And there's level 16 fletching, but I can't stop to look because like the 50th freaking mugger has come to get me. So I don't know if I unlocked anything. And there it is, 17 fletching. Fantastic. You can now make iron javelins. Fantastic. Very good. And there it is, 39 wood cutting. Just incredible, guys. This is just incredible skilling. And look at the tiles I've got, 17. I mean, I just just don't have to move right now. That's just what's been happening. I've just been standing here fletching and chopping. I mean, you literally don't even have to move doing this. It's kind of crazy, though, but yeah. And then it is 18 fletching. You can now make iron brutal arrows. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, that is. That is really awesome. Just keep making these 30, 30 shafts at a time. Just great it is. And there it is guys, 19 fletching. Very nice. Let me just say grats for my teammates. For finishing that quest, because that's the right thing to do. The 19 fletching, nice. Extremely nice. Oh, it's 
still chopping away at the good old trusty oak. This is the trusty oak. And that is huge. 40 wood cutting. I haven't even touched a willow. And I've hit 40 wood cutting. That is actually insane. That is so good guys. 40 wood cutting. I'm extremely pretty. You know what? This mugger hasn't bothered me for ages. And I have no idea why. He literally hasn't bothered me for like... 10 years and I'm, I'm kind of confused why like I'm still only combat 10 is it because I hit combat 10 wait let's run up to him and see run towards him you would normally aggro by now seriously they don't aggro now I think I've like, grown the muggers guys that's crazy well It's quite kind of funny because I said that and look what's happened now, suddenly this mug is attacked me. Okay, I have not uh, grown the mug. I'm pretty sure it has to be double the comp, you have to be over, maybe even combat level 13, it will either be 12 or 13, that's why I'm pretty much sure it is. So no, I have not, I'm still going to get hanged with my mug. Oh, here we go guys, it's the big one. Empty flesh and you can now craft oak short bows. Like I said, this is the big one. This is the true, like, huge level up. Very, very happy with that. And I've just hit 10 strength, guys, from killing the, the mugger who's decided to attack me again. That is huge. 10 strength now. We'll swap back to attack mode now, stack. now that we're at 10 strength, I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah. The thing is, even though I'm capable of chopping willows now, I don't really want to because of my fletching is only within oak level right now. Like, I need to raise my oak, my fletching into willow territory as well. Because, like, I can only use with oak stuff right now. If I could get to 27 fletching, I could make oak shields, which would be cool. The thing is, I don't really have access to bowstrings, so... Eh, wouldn't it be... I don't know. Wouldn't it be better to make something that doesn't depend on, you know, shield? I don't know. I don't know, guys. We'll see. One faction. Fantastic. Another great milestone. Oh guys, I hit my 200 total. I just realized, look, I'm like 200 level total as well. So that means bonus bonuses. Yeah, bonus uh, bonuses. So guys, I was an additional 10 tiles. Five more tiles for um reaching another 50 and 5 tiles for reaching 100,000 XP as well because yeah, I passed 100,000 so I got the but I can buy 10 bonus tiles so look at my total tiles this is the this really is going to be the most I've ever had to spend so I'm really going to have some opportunities to do some stuff so if I keep saving up these tiles I could like get around to somewhere and do some cool stuff for sure. Oh 41 wood cut in. You can now chop a rune with a rune axe and a girl did axe. Um do you know what's funny about that? I don't even I can't even do it um Oh what am I doing now? Oh, come on. Am I trying to chop my tinder box? I think I've lost the plot, guys. The funny thing is about that, though, I was trying to say is I don't even have better than a steel axe right now. And I can get better than a steel axe, there's just nothing I can do. So, <laughs> it's funny that I can use a room pickaxe. A hatchet, I mean. Oh well, never mind. 
many is flying to traction, you can now make iron darts. That is absolutely phenomenal, guys. Some great progress. Flatching guys. Wowee. That's all I can say. Wowee. That is just so good. So so good. So so good. 42 wood cutting. You can now make a paddle, a stable dugout canoe, and members can now cut juniper tree. The crazy thing is guys, this wood cutting is now the highest skill and it's surpassed fire making, which is just insane. Wood cutting is now it's surpassed fire making. That's because I've been doing all this crap. Oh no, I just I guess I'm keeping that one now. What a waste of a tile. But that's the way it goes sometimes. You have to watch what you're doing. I tried to do the attack all half of Rushed it, and this is what happens. Oops! I just wanted to kill some guys. Killing them. Come on, you! Maybe it's eleven o'clock. I can never see the pop-up for the combat tasks because they always get like blanked out. I mean, do I really want to pick up four one fishing bait? I really do. I really don't. Did I do? No, no, no. I thought I miscut that tile then, but I don't think I did. That was already there, right? I hope so. Dude, you're gonna have to come on a tile and talk to him. Oh, so, you know, I got all these like tiles now, like 54 tiles. What can I do? I mean, one thing's to show, I wanna. One thing I'm gonna do is get this willow. We don't need to. We can do that. Okay, what just happened? I don't know. But that's fine. That is fine. I just want to get the willows. I just want to unlock the willow. That's okay, don't worry about it. We accidentally did another tile, but yeah, it's fine. There's a small leeway around here. Just like a few rooms for the sake of it. And what else am I going to do with this crap? Small land bridge. I know I was adding for Drano, but <coughs> shoot, that's okay. Be nice if I could get in the shop, so make that as a possibility. You know what I'm saying? I think that's more than I need. I want to be able to get to... I'm just going to unlock this little patch. So we've got a little base of operations. So I want to get to here though. So we've got the famous place. Could be useful. Okay. Smell. See now. Okay. Where are all the places where I do this chicken? Uh, okay. 
doing at this point. Like I wanted to make it so I could get to the farmers and stuff and pickpocket the farmers. Where are the farmers? I think they're all the way up there. Holy moly guys. I want to create like a loop. What am I, what, like, what am I doing here now? Anyway, that's it. It's my last tile. I, I don't feel like I've accomplished what I needed to though. Like I, I just want to keep working on Lumbridge kind of though, like what, getting around and be able to do stuff here. I've decided. Run diagonal like that, that's fine. Okay, sorry for that, guys. No, you know, that was just a genuine mistake. So we have the willow. Okay, nice, and that's the best we can do for now. Hey, and welcome back to my recap for my hardcore Iron Man joint playthrough episode 9 with an OS tile. Um, RS, my, I have a change of 5,413 XP up from 33,536 to 38,949 and on old school a, a huge change of 24,340 up from 86,222 to 110,562 with a total change of 29,753 up from 119,758 to 149,511 very 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 impressive gains here guys on OS especially very very good OS is killing it right now on XP anyway for levels RS is a change of 22 from 224 to 246 OS is a change of 21 from 184 to 205 and both a change of 43 from 408 to 451 so RS slightly winning by one there Quest points, obviously change of 2 on RS, up from 37 to 39, nothing on OS. Quest points for both change of 2 from 37 to 39. Combat level, change of 2 on RS from 17 to 19, and on OS, 0 from 10 to 10. Total change of 2 from 27 to 29. Uh, IS skill overall being now woodcutting, and that would be on OS, that would be the highest skill yet. Uh, my highest skill on RS3 is now farming at 21, which is crazy. Yep, but it is farming. We're not going to mention lowest skills at, at all at this point because there's still so many light skills I have at 1. So there's no point really. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.